What's up YouTube? I uh, thought I would bring you along with me to try something today that I've never done before. Um, not a lot of videos out there on it, but from what I understand from reading a lot of articles, uh, it's not too terribly uh, impossible. So, looking at a couple of titanium spoons, and I think I'm going to try to anodize them with my torch through heat anodization, heat anodizing, whatever. And first you want to just clean your surface real well with some alcohol. I'm sure a brake cleaner or gun scrubber would probably work well too. Anything to get all the oil and grease off. And then uh, I'm going to attempt to uh, put it down with no finger grease on it. <clears throat> Oils from your skin. I don't mess this process up but that's basically your prep work all you're going to need is a torch and something titanium after that all right the toilet paper might not be the best thing there because that's leaving behind a little bit of paper but i'm sure that'll burn right off if it leaves little shapes and designs in the in the uh, titanium, that's fine with me. This is a first try. I'm not going to try it with a knife or something like that first, but uh, then all you need is a torch. Let's see if I can uh, get it going. Sometimes the auto works on here, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. All right, and what you want to do is you want to start heating it up slowly and you want to watch the color. And I'm going to start with the one here on the bottom. And. Uh, your color change will start to happen and it'll go through a progression of colors starting with bronze. I'm going to go for blue which is somewhere in the middle turning it up a little bit can't can't hurt. Starting to bronze there at the top a little bit. Oh yeah. Getting a little bit of a straw bronze color. Got some purple up there now. Whole thing's kind of gold on the stem. Got some purple there. I hope blue is after purple. I hope I didn't go too hot. Oh, wow. Look at that purple, guys. I hope you see that. There's blue. Blue's coming after purple. Wow. Wow, I've got a blue spoon now to get the bowl. Bowl's going straw, bronze. Starting to go purple. I think I'll uh, be done there real quickly. I'll leave that. I like that. Wow. I hope that's showing up well on camera, guys. Let's go for the other one. Starting to get some bronzing. There's a little purple, blue, gets hot quick on the forks, on the tongs of the fork. I want to drop those on the foot. Oh yeah, there's some blue. Purple, little rainbow action.
to call that. Not sure what the other sides look like. And uh, didn't think about metal tongs to pick them up and show you guys. Let me get a couple sticks. All right, so I wasn't able to achieve a consistent blue. And maybe I shouldn't be touching that yet. It looks like I just scratched some of it. I don't know. This is just a test. I want you guys to see it. Hope you can see that. Try to turn it upside down. Oh yeah, I got some nice colors on the bottom. Maybe not quite what I was looking at on the top, but I'll go ahead and turn that torch back on and see if I can't uh, clean these up now for myself. But that clearly works, guys. You're not going to get consistent colors. I mean, maybe there's a way to, to run that torch more consistently than I did, but you can definitely get colors and random colors and rainbow effects. Um, so pretty cool. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching, guys.